What is going on my friends? My name is Christopher from Cars Unlocked. Today we're in the Nissan Kicks and if you just purchased a Nissan Kicks, you probably want to know how everything works. So I'm going to give you a full tutorial of the infotainment system, how all the buttons work, everything that you can do here. And at the end, we're going to set up our phone to the Android Auto to show you how to connect to the Android Auto and it works the same for Apple CarPlay. Let's jump into it. And if you learned something from this video, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe for more Nissan content. All right, so let's dive into the infotainment system of the Nissan Kicks here. Um, we're on the home screen here, which you can just hit by going to your home menu. And on your home menu, you can see you have your different widgets um, throughout, and then you have your tiles at the bottom. These are fixed tiles. These widgets you can customize. So if there's different things you want in different spots, you can customize them just like the background on your phone. So you can go customize home menu, and then I can add different widgets. Here it's just giving me some quick instructions because this is a brand new vehicle. So we're gonna leave that on. But see, these are all the widgets that I have. My audio, my phone, my clock. And you can see this is the space that I have for all my widgets down here. So let's say I want the phone widget um, in there, which is this one here. I can just hold this and you can see there's no spots. So I need to remove one and trash it and then i can add my home my phone right into that spot there and then when i go back you can see it shows my phone there as opposed to the clock which we had before so that's just a quick tutorial of how to customize your home menu but the main things you'll be using are the phone the audio and the connections so let's start with connections let's connect my phone to the Bluetooth. I have a Google Pixel here, it's an Android phone, but it pretty much works the same way for all um, phones, right? So you just go to your Bluetooth settings and we're gonna hit add new in the connections and we're going to turn on Bluetooth and then it's gonna search for a device here. So I need to go pair new device on my phone and there it comes up my kicks on my phone connect to my kicks and then it just asked me for the pairing pin i'm going to hit yes and then you can select it if this is the primary phone you can select it as your favorites if not hit no but that just means it's going to um, choose your phone first if multiple cars that are paired are entered but here you can see my pixel 6 connected and that's for my phone and that's for my audio if you have multiple phones connected you can choose one for audio and one for the phoning if you want someone to play music but you still want to have your phone connected to answer calls or make calls so now that our phone's paired let's go back to our phone menu here and here's what I can do. I can do a quick dial. I can go through my phone book, call history. I can just dial a number, text messages. I can change my connections and I can adjust the volume. So quick dial, you can save, like it's like a speed dial. You can save different contacts in your speed dial and you can add different numbers here. I didn't download my contacts straight from my phone just for privacy purposes, but you can save your contacts if you call them often. You can also go to your phone book and you can download your phone book. It doesn't show up here because again, I didn't download it, but all your names from all your friends and family that are saved in your phone book and your phone will come up here and you can dial it. It's gonna be the same with the call history. Your call history will come up right on the screen here um, and you can dial straight from the call history or if you know the number off by heart, you can just straight up dial a number here and you can dial the number right there. Text messages, um, here you can see the text messaging assistant. So it will show all my text messaging, um, which you can see here. So here I can open up the text message and it will read it there. 29 p.m. let me ask so quick. From You can stop it or you can replay it. So um, pretty easy to review your text messages. Connections is just gonna be where we were to add a new phone and volume so you can adjust your ringer volume and your call volume right on the volume button here so that's pretty much the phone and how you can set that up we're going to get to the android auto in a second here once we go through the rest 
but let's start with the audio button. Now, these are the different ways you can play music. So, uh, right now we're on the Sirius satellite radio. That comes standard for 90 days, and then if you subscribe to the free trial, you can do that. Um, but it comes with a lot of stations, and you can use the tuner here to just pick your station manually and find a station you like. Um, I like the BPM, it's like house music. I also like classic vinyl, which we were on before. So once you find the station that you like and you wanna save it as a preset, you can see we have one to six, six to 12, 18, and then 18 to 24, and then 24 to 30. So you can have up to 30 different presets for your AM, FM, or your Sirius satellite radio. So let's say I want this classic vinyl to be number one. I just get on it and I hit this little small one with my finger, and there it's gonna save to number one. If you don't wanna search through manually, you can go to this SXM menu here and here you can see you can search through like categories. So if you like sports, you can search through and here you can see sports and you can have it show you all, all the 15 sports stations and you can pick one that way. Let's say you like NHL, here's the NHL, okay? You can also um, save favorite artists here. You can save favorite songs um, and it will also just automatically show stations that are playing that artist or song. Um, you can also just go through the whole channel list here, but mainly what I do is uh, once I have my favorite stations, I kind of just scroll using the tuner here. It's the same with the AM FM. So AM FM, let's go to FM. Again, you can add anywhere to those 30 presets. So I'm a classic rock guy. I like 107, Q107 here in Niagara, it's the GTA. And if you want to save this, you can just sit, if you want to be preset 16, again, you just click and hold, and now it's saved as preset 16. So that's kind of the AM FM radio, how you can set presets. Again, you can tune just using the tuner here, or you can even use the seek button on your uh, AM FM. Now, if you want to play music through your phone, you can just go to Bluetooth audio and I've connected my phone so I can just turn on, for example, if I want to play something from my phone, either maybe a YouTube video, I can search cars unlocked and I can pick the most recent video and here it's going to play through the audio of the speakers. Again, don't watch my videos while you're driving. But if you want to play songs through YouTube, Spotify even, you can go to Spotify and you can play songs that way and it will automatically go up. Now that I've connected my Spotify, the song will play and you can even skip through um, the tracks if you want to skip through the tracks, right? So that's pretty much the radio. Um, Bluetooth menu, that's just going to be other ways you can play music. But let's get to our connections here. So we showed you already how to connect the phone. You can also plug into the USB to connect the phone. And then here you can do different apps. So you can download the Nissan Connect app and you can do things like remote start your car, check your life of your vehicle, your oil and things like that right from the app. Um, locate your car is pretty big, but that's pretty much the connections that you can do here. M main thing you'll be doing is Bluetooth. The info, um, this is just like quick information about your car. So here you can see like the software version. Um, the, if you want to subscribe to the Sirius satellite, you can, but really you won't want really to use this info tab. Settings, this is where you can do things like adjust your audio sounds. We went over the Bluetooth connections. We went over the phone. Let's talk about sound. So again, you can adjust like your bass and your treble. You can do your speed sensitive volume. So it will, um, as you accelerate, will it raise the volume or not? And then here with this Nissan Kicks being the SR, you can adjust the Bose audio speakers that are in the headrest here. 
Uh, volumes and beeps, you can just adjust like when it beeps. You can see when I'm clicking it, if it beeps, things like that. And then the clock, really uh, daylight savings time. You might need to um, reset your clock, but we're pretty much on here, 10, 19. Um, we went over how to customize the home menu at the beginning and you can customize your audio sources. So on the audio menu, you can customize what shows up down below here. Other than that, uh, you can do the system voice adjustments if you want to adjust the audio of the uh, voice prompts that come out of the screen. And then you can play around with your camera. Here you can see I can adjust the brightness of the camera, contrast, tint, there's different uh, settings you can play around with with the camera in the camera settings. Others is just like your language. If you want to change the language, maybe to French, uh, you can change the language. I don't want to change it here. You can go French, Spanish, or English. So. Now guys, if you guys are learning something from this video and it helped you out, just make sure you hit that like button. We definitely want to be at the top of the YouTube search and getting all the likes will definitely help. Even one like will help. So this car is equipped with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. All the Nissan kicks are standard with that. And what that is, is it mirrors the apps that are compatible with your car right from your phone. So things like your Google Maps or your Apple Maps, it will mirror right on the phone. Spotify, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, there's a ton of good apps and I'm gonna show you how to connect right now. The first thing you need is a quality cord and if you have trouble connecting, I have full videos of how to connect right on my channel. All you gotta do is basically plug your phone into the USB and then wait for the car to prompt you. So here it says, um, certain users and vehicle information may be shared with your device. It's just a warning. I'm going to hit OK. So this is very important, guys. It asks, would you like to use Android Auto with this device? And it asks not to ask anymore. So I always want it to ask me every time because sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. But if you hit no and it doesn't ask you again, you'll never be able to connect again unless you adjust it in the settings and, and you kind of have to dig for it deep in the settings. So I'm going to hit yes so it connects for you guys. And here it's just coming up. This is the first time connecting to the car. So I just got to follow these basic prompts. But here we are, we're all good and we're connected. You can see my Google Maps comes right up on the screen here. I can put my phone down, my phone's charging now, and I can just search just like I would on Google. So let's say I wanna go to Niagara Falls. I gotta type right here. Niagara Falls, Ontario. There it is, and it's loading in the map here. And it gives me the directions, and I just need to hit start and there it's gonna map us out avenue regional road 77 there's other apps you can do by pressing the main menu button here these are all the apps that are on my phone that are compatible with the android auto spotify youtube music my phone my nissan app podcasts facebook messenger i can review my text messages amazon music so i went over how to play music from spotify but if you don't want to connect uh, like use your phone you can do it right from the app here and you can just play your spotify right there so fairly easy that's a quick connection to the android auto if you guys learned something from this video comment like subscribe if you guys have questions or there's something i didn't cover you're having trouble with one of the things i've done comment and i'll be more than happy to answer them for you so good luck guys we'll see you in the next video